Hello everyone, so this is another new app, it's called the Rior. I want to introduce this one in this video, as it's a really cool AI-powered software for your local machines that you can use for any note-taking. Like any note-taking app that is integrated with AI, you can use local large language models or open AI, like ChatGPT, as well. Here, they mention that they can use any open AI compatible API. So, when we are running this and connecting with any large language model that we prefer, we are able to do that with a note-taking app doing any content collaborations. Well, in the AI world right now, we call that the co-pilot feature. You know, if you do some note-taking about some projects, you can co-edit the contents with the large language models, just like there are a lot of text coding editors right now. The coding editor that are either plugging into Visual Studio or any text editing software for coding, there's a plug-in for connecting large language models AI and doing Copilot, so you guys can check it out. This one is pretty cool and it's very easy to install. Actually, you can download that from the GitHub page here, or there's another easy way, which is to download it from their official website here, which is just clicking this download button and you are ready to go and download their exe files. So let's check it out here. In my case, I'm using Windows. So I just click Windows and save the exe files on my local machines. And once it's done, we are ready to jump in and do any configurations and get started with this. So let's see their demo videos right now. Actually, everything in here is, well, you can do it manually, adding text by yourself, or you can ask the large language models to create content for you. And then you can add those contents within here. Like here, there's a second column for adding into your note-taking areas. So it's, it's very simple, not a very complex app, but it is very handy. And the main thing, the most important thing, is that you can use your local large language models, local hosted large language models. So all the data, all the contents are going to be private, and you can check out more documentation in here on how to attach local large language models or connect other large language models APIs. I will put this link in the description below, and let's get started. And also, we have to download, of course, Olama when we are running on local machines. So in my case right here, I have already downloaded two installation files. You can see this one is the Rior, and this is the Olama installation here that is for Windows. So you can go to olama.com and click download and select whatever operating system you are using. First of all, we have to set up Olama, and then we will be setting up the Rior. So let's get started. First, we are going to double click this, the Olama installer. We click run and install. Then we are going to install Olama on our local machines. Then we can, you know, do something more in there. Okay, so once we finish installing Olama, we can go to our command prompt window. We can type the keyword Olama, and as you can see, it successfully installed it. So it will pop up all the command prompts for Olama, the program, and Let's see. Actually, I have downloaded Alama before, so I believe they have cached some of the large language models that are already installed here. So yes, I'm right. I have the Llama 3 fine-tuned models for stable diffusions, and I have the Lava and Mistral and stable code. So actually, I don't need the stable code here. So let me delete this one first. So by removing models, we have to do RM of the model's name. So right here, Let's say I want to delete the stable code. We will do Olama RM and the large language model's name. Then it will become deleted. So let's run Olama list again and check out again and see. So yes, the stable code is already deleted because I need some more space for the completed Llama 3, which is for general purposes, Olama running for our, the Rior models here. For example, we are using Olama to run Llama 3. And right here, we are going to click Llama run and it will start pulling the manifest. That means it's going to start downloading the Llama 3 large language model. Here it is, cost 4.7 gigabytes. So we are going to wait for that and come back later. Okay, so we have the large language model Llama 3 downloaded 
and this is the one that the original one, Llama 3, 8 billion parameters, sizes. And so I will have this test out. So just a little short message. Say hi, what is space? Let's see any result it will be generating. And there you go, we got everything is coming up and all the contents. Okay, that makes pretty good sense. So we can use Llama 3 to play around with and we are going to start up Llama 3 again. Let's say when we are starting up Llama 3 using Olama next time after you finish the installation, you can use that again. Simply just use Olama serve and press enter and you are going to be able to do that. But there are some problems here, okay? So because I have Olama already started, I don't have to do Llama serve again once I check that it is already running in the background. So what we're going to do next is set up the real, which is the other installer for this one, the note taking app. We are going to run this, the real installer, and I click anyone who uses this computer, all users, and click yes for the permissions and select our files. Then we have completed the installation and we click finish. Let's see what happened. So this is the first app that we are using. There's an embedded model. So let's change to full screen of this so we can see more clearly. Okay, so we are in the Reels first time setup creation. So it will ask us to set up the projects directory. Choose the directory here. So we are gonna select my directory. You know, you can do whatever you wanna do in your file base. And I am using my other file base for that and select the folder and there you have it another drive i created a folder for only storing this one then for the embedded models you can use any size for me just by default i use the base models of the x land bus and the large language models are going to connect with our local large language models which is olama so we are going to click this attach llama and we can type Llama 3. Actually, this one will download the large language model again, so I won't go to here as we have this already downloaded. Once again, if you have not downloaded any large language models beforehand, maybe you skip the Olama installation, then you can download it here. Just type the model's name, like Llama 3 or Mistral if you prefer Mistral. You can do that and just click download and it will download that for you. But I don't have to do that because by default, Olama has already connected to this one automatically. I don't need to configure anything and it is already detected what I have installed in my local Olama system. So I'm going to use the latest Llama 3 model here and then click next. It will initialize the vector database for me. So based on whatever note taking that I do, any information that I attach into this AI software, it will start getting more information and become smarter and smarter because we have the vector database. The Reor is a private AI personal knowledge management tool. And basically, you know, you can do note taking like in Notion, for example. Notion is very similar to the one that I'm talking about. It is also doing note taking. You can, you know, embed any kinds of information, but then this one will request you to use it online or download their app connecting with their Notion server because they have to charge money for that. And their service is going to, you know, do any AI intelligence connecting with OpenAI and all kinds of things like that. But once we have our own Olama, we, we can use it by ourselves using this app, The Real. So, Let's try it out. First of all, we've got to go to the chat bubbles and select new chat. And there you go. You can start chatting with the large language models. You can do some filters if you want to search the file names in the directory that we defined. But right now it's okay. It just starts chatting with here. That means we are doing the interactions with Llama 3. So once again, let me ask the same question in the command prompt that I did. Just ask, what is space? and see if the AI model replies with the same thing. So, once again, 
this is like a shorter context in here as the previous one that replied to me. And it's okay. I mean, no, we just need to make sure this works because mostly this app is for summarizing content. And you do note taking in here, which I'm talking about in the next section of this video. So next section here, we can do semantic search. It's actually putting your local files together in the folders that I created for the embedding database. And it starts to do semantic search for all your files. And right here, this is the new note taking section. So for example, let's say AI business ideas. That is what we are going to do and what we are discussing in this channel, right? So let's create that and see what will happen. So again, right here, it is the directory, everything on the settings. So always, if you want to change the large language models, you can click here, the settings real, and right here, it will show the settings pop up and the name of the directory. Let's say like brainstorm ideas. So see if there's anything that will be coming out here. Yep. So we got this. Once we create a folder, you go back to your main files section here. It will show the folder we just created. So this is the AI business ideas note taking object I just created in this icon. So start taking notes like, you know, we can do something else in here. Let's say ranked chat. So let's do a topic in here. For example, if I have questions about, you know, when I do brainstorming about AI business ideas, then, you know, first, I will fire up some questions to ask about this. If I do some, you know, content online, maybe I search that. Let's say in the web browsers, I go to Google, or if I find anything like, you know, this, we can, yeah, this is an IBM blog post. So... Let's say I have some note taking on this page that maybe I will be highlighting these areas that I need to note take about. Then we can go back to the reel and I just paste this content in here. I have, you know, bookmarked or I just copy and pasted the whole blog post here, just wanting to build up some content for the demo here. And we have overall the whole content about the trending AI in 2024. And this is over all the content from IBM's blog. And basically, it makes complete sense, all the content in here. So we can start asking about it in the chatbot here. So let's go to the chat and say new chat in here. I ask something about, you know, the trending AI. What is the trending AI? As you can see, it finds the content in my existing note-taking text note, and it searches the context of that. So basically, this app is a note-taking app, and also, it is something that we call a vector database based on our content that we built, built in our files and the notes in here. So once we have the notes in here, we build up so many of that in a list like that and we organize it by folder. Then we can start chatting in here with the large language models and it will help us process whatever we take notes on. It will be based on that content and the AI becomes smarter in the specific topics about that. So as you can see, the similarity here is 80% that I saved three minutes ago, and the similarity of this content is 72%. Basically, it divides each content in our big chunk of notes. Like here, it will separate this part into one context, this part into one context, and it's stored in the database, the vector database. Once we ask about similar questions on this topic, the large language models will query the similar content in the vector database, and it will generate the expected content from our note-taking content right here. Therefore, it has some related answers for me in this chat box. So even though it is running locally, the large language model is particularly smaller in size with fewer parameters compared with some larger models like ChatGPT or Claude. Those are going to be huge ones. But you know, it can still be smart on specific topics. Like if I'm doing note-taking about business ideas about AI, it can answer this with the updated information because I do the searching myself and take notes by myself. In these notes, I would say this is a helpful thing overall, not a very complex note-taking app or AI software, but it is useful for doing a quick search on your local machine 
and then using the local large language model to provide some summarized context or present any other things meaningfully with all your note-taking materials. So there you go. This is a very good handy tool I would say for daily use. Yeah, try it out guys. This is the real. This is exactly a self-organizing AI note-taking app because we are doing the note-taking ourselves and the local large language model does vector database processing within our content that we did in the note-taking. That is it for this video. I hope you guys got some inspiration on how to use that in your daily life to improve your productivity and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.